Hi, um, I was just calling to ask about, um, I wanted to come in and get some uh, chin fillers. And I was just um, maybe seeing if I could like schedule a consultation or um, I don't really need a consultation. I've, I've seen Dr. Kato before and he recommended um, chin fillers. So um, I, didn't, I just didn't know how to process work, but I want to come in and get them. Yeah, of course. I can go ahead and help you get scheduled that. What is your uh, first and last name, please? Jayla, J-A-E-L-A-H. Our next available appointment, um, unless you already had a day in mind that you wanted to come. Um, no, I'm actually kind of like going through like a little quarter life crisis right now. And so, you know, I, I could get them done today. You no, know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, just being impulsive. I'm going to make myself feel better. <laughs> Something for you today, but we're just so fully really bummed. Okay. But I can get you in Monday. We did have somebody who canceled their appointment Monday. Um, so if you can, the only thing we have is six o'clock on Monday. Six o'clock on Monday. Um, how long is it gonna take to like heal? Like how long? Like should I do this on like a week where I like you know Halloween and stuff like that? Um. So it's gonna. There's gonna be a little bit of swelling. Um. I wouldn't say you're going to look like a hot mess, but... Right, so <laughs> I should just... Swelling, yeah. So we'll do um, bruise. Okay. But... Um, okay. You, you know, if you hit yourself on a shelf or something and you bruise easily, then you might... Oh, bruise. yeah, right, I don't. If you easily, then you might not. Yeah. So it's like 50 Okay, okay. I was I was wanting to I don't know what I'll do, but I just know I got this like Bob's burger chin thing going on and I'm just really tired of it. I'm through. I'm through with it. <laughs> Not Bob. I'm tired of looking at it. <laughs> All right, give me one moment, please. Let me talk to my manager. Okay, thank I'm you. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. I can come in today. I can come in on Monday. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just, I just want to feel. I just want to. Yeah, today at four. Can you come in today at four p.m.? Oh, today at four p.m. Okay, okay. And then we'll do four p.m. We'll go. We'll do that. And um. Okay, I've already scheduled you, so I'm Okay, we we we're doing it. We're going for it. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you at. Are you gonna be there? I will. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. Great. I'll see you then. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. All right. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. What do we do when we have quarter-life crises? We go to get fillers. Like, I swear, I'm, like, literally on the verge of tears, y'all. Like, I'm ready to cry. This is absolutely so comical. Like, I literally can't believe I'm going through this. I have to get ready. I have to get ready to go get fillers. They told me to come at 4.
Bust it like you can't afford a cop. You a stop. You look in the mirror. You know who you are, right? Who? Take it low. Take it way lower than that. I fly private when I go. Ain't no layover on that. Yeah, I made it to the top. Took a seat. Still sitting, man. I'm up in stadium in DC. Still tipping, man. She couldn't pay tuition five times. Still stripping. I just throw a couple bills and she'll have a pair of heels. Oh, no. There I go. Magic tricking on your ass. Throwing every president except for Nixon. On your ass, make you rich. I feel like I should make commission on your ass. Wonder what you'd ever do if I went missing on your ass. The fact that it's an hour and six minutes to get there because of traffic is crazy. But y'all, I'm not gonna lie, it feels like ball head hosting in Virginia. It feels like Patron. That's what it feels like. I'm not lying. Y'all know I got the empty on my car real quick before I go on this journey, this voyage. Uh, I can't be walking around with no dirty car. Fuck up the vibes instantly. And then you know what else what you do? What you don't want to see? Throw it in the back seat. Throw it in the truck. Just a book. I just want all my stuff. A random tampon. It's Ray Ben's case. Throw that back there. A random spoolie. Let's put that in there. Uh, I'm kind of thirsty too, y'all. I might need to go into the store and get some, some water. Yeah, let's do that. I'll be right back. Y'all, there is so much traffic. I'm like a little nervous because like it keeps getting like higher. And my appointment's at four o'clock. And right now it says my arrival time is gonna be at 3.54. Well, I had a moment earlier. This girl asked me, I was on live and she was like, you know, have you tried doing shadow work? And I was like, bitch, don't piss me off. Like I got mad at it, you know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something, right? Yesterday I was gonna film a video and I got on live and I specifically asked them if they wanted me to do a talk through or voiceover. You know, I started to feel like crap yesterday. I haven't really been vlogging, y'all. I've been kind of going through a lot, right? And like, like I'm having like a, a tower moment like in real life. And um, yesterday I started kind of feeling bad and I felt like it was my sinuses. So I even tweeted yesterday, I was like, I blame the C word my sinuses acting like this 101% like for real because I never had like sinuses right I woke up this morning voice voice gone voice gone right but I got on live yesterday and I specifically asked them girls like hey do y'all think that I should what are you doing like you like what are you doing like what is wrong with people I filmed a, t a tutorial I was like I was gonna make a video about like Becoming a woman of my dreams and like I like the way I dream about her and things like that, right? So I said I'm gonna film a video, right? I said I'm gonna film a video. And um I, I filmed the video, but I asked them if they wanted me to do a voiceover. By the time I got to do the voiceover, y'all, my voice was gone. So I don't know if like that was like the universe like making me wait, like, okay, wait, don't make this video just yet. Because now the way I feel about this is like someone I was on that live this morning going through the motions, like literally. I'm going through the motions. Why are you just say rerouting? Like I'm going through the motions or whatever. And um, and the girl is like, have you tried to do shadow work? And I'm irritated. Like I'm like block and I'm sorry to whoever you were because I really appreciate you for saying that because it was almost so like, I got really irritated when, I, but it reminded me like, like what's complex to me is, is simple to somebody else. And what's simple to somebody else is complex to me. You understand what I'm saying? And so, like, I just need to, like, be be mindful of that. Yeah, I just, it just reminded me to, like, slow down and, like, be willing to, like, I guess, teach, learn, you know, all of those other things. Like, just be open to that, right? And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that video to talk about, like, what is, like, what is shadow work? And so I'm going to tell her what it is. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to explain, I can make a video, like, explaining, like, what it is. Am I going the wrong way? I feel like whenever I come this way, I'll be like going the wrong way. Like I'm thinking, oh, I'm not going the wrong way. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, like it just reminded me to like slow down and just be gentle and be compassionate and like 
just be more patient and so i really appreciate her and i'm gonna go back to her name and i'm gonna unblock that girl because that wasn't nice and i really do apologize and i thank you for that moment anyway my arrival time say 3:58 now i don't got time to forward this traffic i don't i'm like i wish i could get chauffeured around you know because i would be able to edit like my reel and stuff but yeah no i need to drink this water also i just pulled up um, I set my tripod outside right right there so I can get some content. I would never be ashamed of putting on my, my my content, my tripod. I will set my tripod up anywhere because one thing about it, you might not see my vision, but baby, these brands do. <laughs> these brands see it. You feel me? Yeah. And you're going to be on the internet typing. I'm going to be on my way to the bank. I never gave a f <laughs> Anyway, I'm on my way. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. Like, it's super cute in here. Um, I can't wait to show y'all. I am so excited, y'all. Like, I cannot wait. Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm flattering. Okay, so y'all, this is the room that I'm in. It's so cute. Um, y'all, look at this. Girl. Stop. Stop playing with me. Like, This is a very fly, like, office, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, the noise is low-key, like, eating, like, you know. The lady just came in and she was talking about my jawline, because I was telling her about my chin. And she was like, your jawline is, like, gorgeous, and we just need to accentuate that. We need to Botox here, filler that, filler this, and then something else. <laughs> But she, she was talking about, so I'm, 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 I'm with it, you feel me? This lady just came in here, right? And go, she, she said, she said, I said, ma'am, I came here to feel better. Hold on. You gonna make me, you gonna make me mess around feel worse. <laughs> Girl, I came here to feel better. I got the numbing cream up here. And this is kind of like taking a little time. Like, I thought it was just gonna be a quick come in here. I gotta call my mama, cause she called me. I'm telling her to call her back. Mom. Hey, mom. Hey. I called you earlier because I was having like a like a great mental breakdown, but it, you too. Mm -hmm. Girl, it's the moon. It's full of moon. That's why she said it's the moon, girl. But I made myself feel better. Oh, hi. I'm getting fillers, girl. I'm gonna call you back. Okay. All right, bye. She just came and removed the numbing cream. We'll be here in a minute. Is this a good angle? Yeah, it's cool. It's like 
It's Neck elegant. longer, yes. You know, I don't know what it is, but I always tell everybody the chin changes everybody's hair. But look at that elegance. And who could tell you've had it done? Nobody. Oh, you see how natural it is? I love it. This, I told you it was going to make me feel better. I'm so I feel great. <laughs> It's kill me. I am obsessed now. I need to oh. go get my chin oh. done on myself. Oh. You're creating something. <laughs> you are so happy. You are so sweet. I love you so much. Sick. You know, I've been telling you, your chin. Your yes. Chin. And you know what? That's why I'm like, when I look at somebody, it's like. You can just see. I can see yes. it's going to take it to the next uh -huh. level. And it drives me insane. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could get it done. Yes, but Once I get it done, it brings me yes, so much joy. Absolutely. Yes. But this is like. So natural, oh, but it's you and so sexy, and beautiful, and makes your features all pop out. And stare at you anymore. This is like I'm so I'm obs like obsessed it so with it. Like, if you're ever without a chin, I'm gonna die. I know me too. I'm like I need my chin. <laughs> it's like it's so you. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. So uh, let's do a follow up in about like ten days, just so I can make sure that I massage it again. Okay. Sure it's looking great. Okay. Okay. Three. And you know I'm OCD. Yes, you gotta make sure. Right. Yes, we can do that. Bye, my sweet. Thank you. I'll see you in two Any questions you have, call me and let me know. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. So <laughs> stunning. Friends. Wow. 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 Guys, I'm lip gloss. I don't have any lip gloss. Like, what girl comes out the house without lip gloss? I just want to come up here and tell y'all, I just, I just literally bust down a barbecue sandwich and a half, and then I had some french fries, and I had me a sweet tea. Y'all, I'm at Dumars, and I know y'all probably don't know what Dumars is, but I'm at, like, a little place, right? Guess what? They got wet nuts. So I just got me an ice cream, a hot fudge sundae with wet nuts. And I don't want to hear nobody talk. Don't say nothing to me. I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. Don't ask what a wet nut is. Don't worry about it. If you don't know, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. And that's just that on that. Okay? Wet nut supremacy. Okay? You know, everybody came that smart like bulb in their office. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so why, why does it literally just like the white box? Yes, like me having to like learn you like for who you like I'm learning you like the same way like I'm learning me and you learning me like we're learning each other. So like Yes, I did only thing I'm learning more and more about you is I didn't never know this mouth ran so much. That's 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 about it. Bitch. I didn't know you could get that much hair in the back. You never knew my mouth ran so much. Alright girl. Alright bye. We bat like cook crap, baby. <laughs> yeah. Finna go into Sephora. I don't really need nothing, so I'm about to see what need me. That's my whole thing. Let me just go into the store and see what need me. But I gotta be careful not to spend too much because <sighs> the way this credit card is set up, y'all, I'm gonna talk about that later. Like having a credit card and having credit cards has changed my whole entire life. We could talk about that later, but for right now, I'm finna go into Sephora. I know I want some more blush. I just been watching a lot of beauty girlies and things and things like that. And so that's what we gonna go do. So let's go get some, some new makeups. And then after this, we gotta go to this store to go get these camera lenses because um, I'm standing on business this week, babe. I'm standing on business for the rest of my life, but you know what I'm saying? We starting with this week. Girl, I don't even know why I brought y'all in here. They gonna tell me I can't film. So, boo. There was this girl inside of the Sephora and uh, she had to be all of like 13, 14 years old. She was just a little, you know, just this little fair skinned little white girl. And I just was like, she was just, I could hear her like, I hope this sets correctly and I hope this and I hope that. And you know, I'm just gonna use the primer that my mom got at home and her mom is like in the store just buying all this makeup for her. And I'm like, I don't know. I just felt so compelled to tell this girl and her mom like, babe, you are giving me major beauty influencer vibes. Huge, like I'm so serious. Like if you started right now and you got on there and you started, you know, just talking and just doing your makeup, like babe, I, I, I'm like, I'm for real, it's giving like a million followers, like for real. Like I felt that, like, ugh, not even on no like, 
<laughs> Madame Zeroni type mess, but like for real, like you can see when people got that, like you can see when people got that like that like that spark when people got that like magnet and i because i have that magnet i feel like i see it in other people and that little girl she just wanted to cry i could tell she just wanted to burst into a million tears and uh, you know i hope that you know whenever she you know because she was like a heavier girl and i know sometimes that can be harder you know because the world is just so mean to 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 my to my you know plus size girlies and uh, like I just hope that she can hear that whenever she feels like discouraged or anything like if she actually ever does it because she definitely got that shit for sure anyway it looks like my arm um looks like I've been beat up as it just got so much stuff on me um which is that's okay I'm about to head to the where I gotta go to where I gotta go to the camera store I gotta drop a little bit of money on these on these on these lenses real quick because I'm just I'm telling y'all like it's giving like I'm just standing on business and also let me tell you something I had to lie to get a dentist appointment this morning like I called two dentists one was like dentists is that a word one was like oh April and then the other one was like oh May and I was like what I gotta do to get these people to give me an appointment and they like oh you gotta lie I'm like I'm really hold on and I'm really not good at lying so um I had to tell them that I had like pain in like my lower left quadrant in order to get me a dang on dentist appointment just for me to get up there and forget what i said for the dentist to come and say okay so you're having some pain like i'm like what do i gotta do like do i gotta walk in there with a bag of peas on my face like yeah doc it's right here i, I could barely talk like there's nothing wrong i just want my teeth cleaned i just need a dental exam exam i just need an exam that's it anyways i'm gonna go get these lenses and then i'm gonna go home and um Oh, so yeah, I have a dentist appointment on Wednesday. Thank God, because it's been a minute, okay? It's been a minute. It's been a little minute. <laughs> I made it to the camera store, y'all. Get these lenses that I didn't do absolutely no research on. So hopefully, I just literally like put them on my camera and I just was trying them and I was just liking the way they looked and you know, so yeah gonna go get these lenses and then I gotta go home and do my makeup film this video for better help uh look better help better lens this clip on so yeah it's a cute little camera shot Duh. yo quick crisis there's like so much in here like oh my gosh these are so cool like look at those What are these? Oh, oh, oh. Look at all this cool stuff, y'all. So much cool stuff. Oh, shit, I'm stupid. So much cool stuff in here. If I'm getting photographed by this, you better believe I'm putting that shit all the way on. Do you hear me? I am putting this all, I'm putting, listen, I'm pulling out the family heirlooms, the jewels, everything if I'm getting photographed by this, yo. Dang, he can't treat his shit like I treat my shit a little bit. Damn, this shit just can't. <laughs> wow. So interesting, y'all. I actually came and got these lenses on Friday, but I'm not gonna tell you what I did because it was a lot. Um, but just know I came back for them, okay? So, yeah, I kind of want to put this one on right now so y'all can see. Hold on. Do y'all see the difference already? Like, come on, upgrade, come on, quality. Real quick, I just wanted to show y'all where I just left chuck's camera plus store and i was actually so impressed because the black owned business y'all see the difference in that quality like watch out bro like watch out now okay it's a black owned business and like i love that for mr chuck i really do i just start calling him mr chuck because he's an old man so i just call him mr chuck but i need to call my mama that because uh i want to gossip little mini Sephora haul. Okay, so I got this Summer Fridays lip butter balm, and I like it. It smells like, mmm, like, like Victoria's Secret, like pink. You know that scent? You know what I'm talking about? Like, like vanilla cupcake bakery scent. It's really cute on 
um i'm gonna wear this today but girl the girls need to stop um uh buying a beauty supply store because you know what i'm saying i heard i heard i saw a lot of what kind of ingredients they had um and so we can't we can't be doing that okay um i also got this makeup by mario brows and well girl and um it's a a little blade you know what i'm saying y'all see the blade look at that <sighs> lightning fast focus come on now but yeah so i'm gonna try to do my eyebrows with this and uh i also got this charlotte tilbury airbrush finishing powder this is the pressed one right here and this is in 310 i'm gonna put this underneath my under eye because i feel like my like skin got used to like laura mercier and then i also got this one size um lip liner and rent due so we'll see about it so yeah i'm about to do my makeup i think i'm gonna get on live real quick real quick i just want to chat because I'm having like, I don't know if I should talk about this on the vlog. Ooh, I should have wiped that foundation off that I had on my face, good gracious. Because let me tell y'all something. I am naturally like a very open book because I simply have nothing to hide. And so the discernment that I use is, um, I'm kind of forced to use it. It's not my choice, you know what I'm saying? Like if I could come up here and like really, y'all know how open I can get because that's just who I am and um i'm never ashamed of who i am so but certain things i be wanting to make sure like i just be like i be kind of like going back on myself about like if i should open up about it or like if i should like what i should do you know like if it's something that you know it's it's okay for people to know about me but i just feel like i don't care so it's like if anybody was to try to use something against me or anything like You know what I'm saying? For you to be able to use something, you know, people say that, like, you know, I just don't care. So, I don't know. I'll probably get on live and just talk a little bit about, while I'm doing my makeup, and just talk a little bit about some of the things that I've been kind of, like, realizing about myself lately. Because I'm always growing. And I want to talk to y'all about it, but I'm so used to talking to the spam about it because I'm not going to lie. They're like my little safety net, for real, for real. Like, the spam page knows me the best. But I'm trying to open up more, like, feel like, you know, I feel like it's okay for me to, like, open up more to y'all, to, like, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Versus, like, the little bit of people that's on my spam page, you know? Do y'all want to talk about it? Or should we just not talk about it? Let's just not talk about it. I feel it. We don't even have to talk about it, babes. I get it. Let's just use the Summer Fridays real quick. I left all of my tripods downstairs, so... Yeah, but somebody dragged me, bro. Somebody dragged me. They tagged me in that puss. That girl rolling. Uh, that lip gloss. <laughs> One thing about me, baby, I'm going to squeeze the dog shit out of a lip gloss. You better know it. You know it. I don't even care who watching. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, friends. It's been... Oh, you my best friend and you don't even know it. I love you, Jayla, all the way from Barbados. Oh, I love you too, babe. Um, Let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall because I got dinner plans tomorrow. And, oh, I came out here looking for something. What was I looking for? Oh, my tripod. Where's the tripod? Right here. Got it. Um, Also, what else am I looking for? If I was something that I was looking for, what else would I be looking for? I know I own the pocketbook. I did have one. Hold on, y'all. Where's the pocketbook at? Oh, it's downstairs. I know it's downstairs. And I know exactly where it's at, too. All right, y'all, let's go to the mall. I, like this place is to go to the mall. I didn't know the motherfucker was going to close at 7 o'clock. I came all the way to this mall, and I think it's closed. Are you vlogging? Yes. I came all the way to this damn mall in that big. Oh, wait. Wait. Let me see. Hold on, let me put my headphones in. Ma'am, what time y'all closed? Okay, good. Okay. The internet say seven. <laughs> Woo. Girl. Friends, update. I did not find anything to wear tomorrow, but 
I got tons of cozy things, like a bunch. I can't wait to try them on. Sorry, they, you know, <laughs> they cut the lights off on me. Yeah, we gotta go back to the drawing board when we get back to the crib. I low key wanna change the location of where we're going because it's so casual, kinda. Like, I don't have no in between. Either I'm doing a lot or I'm not doing much at all. Like, I don't have an in between. And then Arnell is telling me I gotta wear heels. Y'all, she talking about something you gotta wear heels. I wanna wear Travis Scott ones. But <laughs> can y'all please tell me why I told them Dennis today that I had pain in my lower left quadrant and now actually it's hurting. <laughs> why is it doing that? <laughs> like, just vibe, you know what I mean? I'm actually really tired. Um, I didn't eat my Chipotle. I don't want to take my face off because a full face beats everything. I need to do this more often. I think I should try my clothes real quick. Let me just see what they look like. Let's see what I got from Forever 21. This is literally so cute. This is so cute. Look at that. I don't think this goes with these. I feel like this goes with more with. Why are they both kind of off shit? Y'all, these fit so cute. This is also a large. So, cause I, you know, I got long arms, y'all. This is so cute. It looks like I like do choreography. What y'all think? I love this color on my complexion. Oh, I like the way that fit. Okay. I don't really care for the fact that it's not long. Don't care for that part, cause I like the way I see the hang on it. Oh, and I had to get these in a medium. So let's see how these fit. They are a little tighter than what I like. Hey girl. They're a little tighter. But still cute. The girls on the spam are eating me up right now because they don't accept me for who I am and how I choose to eat my food, my Chipotle. Y'all don't understand how it feel to like the hot sauce, but when somebody that work at Ch Chipotle wanna be heavy handed with the hot sauce, you got to get it on the side because then it overpower your whole bowl. Or the sour cream, overpower your, your whole bowl. And so you just get your sauces on the side. They don't understand that. Are you a little dip? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You need the vinaigrette. You never got the vinaigrette. See. Whoa, we just got questions. The problem is the poor. Just lying on us bad. They saying I'm lying on them. But I already know what it is. They just don't they just don't accept me for who I am. And that's okay. <laughs> um only a little bit of hot. Who the fuck? Want all that hot and sour sour cream on their bowl. The essence, yes, Thina. You just get a little essence of flavor. Ooh, that's a big piece of chicken. I need to go ahead and eat that because I'm gonna be full in a minute, so. See, I was a bit biting. It's the good night time, and I'm gonna try to use this first um, day dissolve cleansing balm. Ooh, I like the way that feel. It feel like coconut oil. Child. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's in a dime size. Okay. I do not want to take this makeup off, y'all. But you know what? There's always tomorrow to do another full face and i low-key forgot my like love of full face makeup until today i was reminded today oh that's gonna be painful oh that's gonna be painful oh oh my goodness i'm ripping lashes i'm ripping lashes oh my god <sighs> whatever the lashes need a break anyway so if they go bald head they go bald head i really love the way this cleansing mom smells yeah i got so much work to do <laughs> Like, I know if you gotta put myself on autopilot this week, um, 
when it comes to like work because I have so much stuff to do and uh, I knew this was going to be like this when I was signing all the contracts and stuff and planning all these, you know what I'm saying, closing all these deals. I knew it was going to be like this, but you know what I'm saying, it's actually happening. You feel me? Wow. Um, I look interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not lying. Y'all, this look like some scary movie stuff for real, for real. What they say do? Rinse. Duh. I'm gonna miss the ponytail and I will be back. I shall return ponytail. I only had this hairstyle in for today because I had a video to film and then tomorrow I gotta do a sewing. So yeah, that's that. But the ponytail ate down, like for real. Are y'all loving the quality of this vlog so far? Oh man, how did that get on? I don't like that soft that soft skin match y'all. Um, this paper towel is a, is kind of abrasive, you know what I'm saying? I probably got a washcloth somewhere in here. <sighs> I sure do. What was we doing that for? Today I was thinking about how, like, I'm not really like a hypersexual person. And I feel like my whole life I have acted like a hypersexual person. Um, just kind of promiscuous, you know, a little inappropriate sometimes, you know. Like, this guy's is like, oh, I'm just comfortable type thing. But I think that was because of the people that was around me. And uh, I'm learning now that, like, I'm not a hypersexual person. Um, like, you really got to play with my mom before you play with anything else. You feel me? So, and it's just, I don't know, guys. It's just very interesting to, like, I didn't own those things, but I acted in that way. But now to actually own these and to be able to say, like, I am not a hypersexual person. And to know that about myself. Because, like, it's not anybody else. You know what I mean? And I know, I know, I don't know if this sound like I'm putting, like, stuff off of other people. Because I made my own decisions. But I'm just saying that, like, demons jump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They jump. Like, fleas. You know what I'm saying? And say, label dog, you get fleas. is the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. I just think that that's very interesting how... I discovered today like now moving forward it's like i don't have no desire to like you know what i'm saying and be intimate with somebody that i'm not close to i don't want that i don't want that like we have to like be close for me to like we do that and it's not like an act it's not like a oh he ain't spend enough money on me he didn't do this yet or he didn't do that yet or you know what i'm saying whatever it's just i'm not into that casual Ness. and I just need like I don't know I just feel like I am be real with y'all okay I feel like every time I have sex it's taken away from what my husband is going to experience and don't eat me up y'all in the comments okay but I would just like feel like I would love to just because I didn't save myself I couldn't save myself really. I really didn't stand a chance to be honest with you. But um it would just be nice to like save myself like further. You know what I'm saying? You know, if I could commit to that, that would be cool, but I do like to hunt, you know, <laughs> just with the right person. Just with the right person. But honestly, just sex be the last thing on my mind, y'all. Like, that is so crazy. Like, and Actually, like, having standards is interesting, too, you know? Like, I come up here and I'll talk to y'all about this, but I'll never tell niggas this stuff. I would never say this stuff out loud to them. If they watching this video, oh, well, 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 ain't no they. They're, <laughs> they. Who am I talking about? Who is these imaginary people that I'm talking about? Anyway, um, but if somebody was to come up here and watch this and hear this, oh, oh, well, but, you know, I got to keep it real with y'all. I really be busy, so it's just like if it's not worth my time and if it's not worth my energy, um, I have better things to do. <laughs> you know, it's just new actually being like this and like actually believing it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I, I pet a couple dogs in my day that I wouldn't mind petting again. You know what I'm saying? But one of my biggest rules for myself is to just never spin a block. So once I close out a chapter, I never open that book up again. I might look back at it just to like, you know, 
reminisce, see how far I come type thing. You know, opening up that book again is crazy. I learned my lesson about that. The universe is not like when you go backwards and they are trying to accelerate you forward. So that's like my biggest rule, y'all. Don't spin the block ever. All right, y'all. I'm about to say my shower and then go to bed. Good night. Good morning. Yes, I'm wearing one of these suits from Forever 21 that I wore yesterday. I'm judging mom. Okay, actually, that's what I was doing. I was, I am. I'm like, I need an outfit for my hair appointment tomorrow. Like, y'all, I literally, like, I was talking to Arnell. She was like, yo, I got a problem. I'm like, I literally don't. Like, I don't have no problem spending money, but I don't be shopping. I'm like, I feel like I got the opposite problem. Hey. Look. Jess, I think we need to convert your tea. Hold on. Wash your face. Wash your face. What's cool? Come on. Come on. Why are you talking about sit down? Come on. I got a lot of stuff going on today, right? A lot of stuff. And I don't know if. I don't know if I can get it all done today or if it's smart to get it all done today. Like, I feel like it needs to be broken up. So, like, I got four people to see today. And that just feels like a whole lot. Jax, come on. Come on before you be late. Just dropped Jax off from school at school. I don't know why I always be in this silly, goofy, funny mood. Like, oh, let me just... Try something new. I filmed with a new camera and a new setup yesterday because I was hot, but I turned the air on last night because it was hot. And um, yeah, I don't like my footage, so I have to refilm my video. Y'all, I just did that, okay? I just really did that. I just really did my hair and did my makeup, and I'm about to be on time to this appointment. The only thing I have to do is pack my makeup bag, so let's go do that real quick. Just to make sure. You look gorgeous, honey. The ponytail looked a lot better yesterday, but that's okay. I feel like it's gonna just keep going, keep keep getting better throughout the day. Let's pack this thing on. Make our bag real quick. I just need a few touch up items, lip glass, you know what I'm saying? I really hate these lashes. Like, no, low key, I hate these lashes. If I got time to change them, I will. Um. Some foundations, of course, I need a sponge. Some those. Some those. I need hella setting powders. Yeah. Just, I'm literally working all day. I'm not complaining, though. I'm not complaining. Just sometimes when I be like giving myself a break from like, I guess, like really acting like this, you know, I, I just feel like. I be like in shock when I gotta go back to it, like when I get back to it. Makeup bag is packed. Oh wow, we're on like time time, y'all. Like it says we're gonna get there at like 11.45, but like with my driving, let me not say that. We got out the door, we got everything that we needed to get done. I look gorgeous. This um, Loctane um, right here, this right here, y'all, Y'all see, I squoze the hell out of it. Anyway, I was on the phone with my homegirls lately and the whole conversation just have been about like how men literally have to lie and be like, my baby mama won't let me see my son. Like there are crazy mom, crazy baby mamas out here. You know what I'm saying? There really are. But I think the ones that are crazy actually have men that are either, that might be worth a damn, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit or um, they're just like fed up with his inconsistencies and he's just a liar. Like, that's just, it's, it's, it's either or. There's no in between, I feel. And so, and he's just like manipulating her like real bad, you know? Um, but there's this other group of baby daddies that want somebody to be crazy over them. So they have to lie and say, my baby mama's crazy to make themselves look more desirable, trying to fit into that category of men that are worth a damn and do have baby mamas that are crazy over them because it was a good, they, they had a good man, you know, type thing. Um, I've never seen that happen before, but I guess it does, you know, not from my personal experience. I've just never seen that happen. Before. There, are, There is a huge group of men out here lying on the baby mama saying that the baby mamas is crazy to try to make themselves appear more desirable. It's crazy. 
out here, y'all. This shit is wicked. Be careful. Be safe, okay? It's insane. It's pure delusion, actually. It's crazy that you even gotta lie on somebody to even, like, that you have to lie to, like, even, like, make yourself, like, appear more desirable, like, somebody's losing sleep over you or something. Like, the baby mamas that don't care, trust me, like, you either got two mature, responsible people or the man that you with is not worth a damn. And it's no purpose in even trying because there's no fight to fight. Like, there's no purpose. I really be like looking at people with like healthy co-parents and relationships and I just be like, wow, that must be so nice, you know? Like, co like to co-parent, like, I don't know. I just be looking at it like, okay, like, uh, anyway anyways um i'm on my follow-up appointment with my chin because i went and got my chin done a couple like two fridays ago i think i just did it and a lot of people were like oh girl you didn't need that da -da 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 -da. like listen mind your business <laughs> when it comes to what i do to me with me okay because when I got that BBL in 2016, everybody tried to, oh, you didn't need that, da 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 da, -da. Try to do all what they had to do and talk crap and whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying, just for PPP and PUA to come out and then now everybody, now nah, ain't no Percocets in Miami. What a Percocet, y'all. Not y'all, ain't no per ain't a Percocet in Miami. So like, just don't worry about what I do with me, okay? I always make tasteful adjustments to myself. There's always room for improvement. Um, and uh you yeah, know like because i don't talk about the things that i want to change about myself out loud that doesn't mean i have i don't have them you know and like there was nothing wrong with my face i just felt like it was like a little disproportionate i changed it because i wanted to and i wasn't even going through like an emotional breakdown like i thought i was going through like a breakdown because like i'm like oh my gosh like i having this like identity crisis about like if i'm like my sexuality i'm like i'm almost 30 years i don't know like i was having this like identity crisis and trying to like i guess figure myself out and i was really upset about it because i felt like there was a part of me that i couldn't access and i don't like that i don't like that i, I feel very restricted when i feel like that um when i can't access like a part of me because like nobody should know me better than like me you feel me but I wasn't having a, a quarter life crisis. I wasn't, I was actually being quite dramatic. Um, and um, I actually just realized that I need to stop downplaying a lot of the things that are about myself and I just need to own them. Like I downplay them. I don't know why I downplay them. I don't know why, but like I'm smart, very intelligent, very intuitive. Um, I can see bullshit a mile away smell it a mile away like i am i'm not easy to manipulate i'm not easy to control you know you also cannot purchase me like just these things about myself that i was like kind of watering down and i feel like because i was like playing dumb you know what i mean so like of course you play dumb like what you gonna get you know what i'm saying but i'm not dumb and if somebody like can't handle how much I talk or like how much I know or how much I see, then oh well, that don't got nothing to do with me. Like there is literally somebody that will appreciate all of that in me. You know what I'm saying? And not that I'm even looking, but just like moving forward, like just needing to be like more secure with myself. Like I was telling y'all yesterday about even like the sexuality, just owning that and like letting that like, you know what I'm saying? Like leading with that, like saying that like confidently and like actually allowing it to like, okay, I figured that out. So now I can like, okay, I'm gonna tell you what it feel like. So now that I figured it out, it's like I have, I cut all these pieces, right? Y'all, my analogies be hitting on everything, right? Y'all know that. So it's like I cut like these pieces out and then I laid them all out. And this was from my past. And this was from like my childhood. And this was from that one guy and da 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 da. And like, so I have all these pieces laid out and I'm like, which one of these is like actually me, you know? And so, like, you know, I, by process of elimination, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 and then now you got this one piece, and you like, okay, I got this piece that I cut out, and it's like, okay, like, now it's time to get, like, the glue stick, 
and like glue it on me and like it's on me you know because I know this about me like I don't know it just feels weird figuring like myself out and things like that like you know some people have that thing where they're like completely sure of themselves from the jump like from 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 the day that they were born and I, that was me that was me that is me but I feel like because I am so empathetic sympathetic I feel like I absorb a lot of things that aren't mine and so then I gotta be like hmm whose insecurities are these whose feelings are these okay that's a projection you know what I mean things like that so yeah it's just interesting like learning about myself and like knowing about myself and like this part is kind of like fun you know what I mean because I just get to like reinvent myself y'all know I love reinvent myself I don't never have no problem with that babes one thing about me I'm gonna reinvent myself okay I be just chilling and I hate that my friends are like you need to dress more girly I hate dressing girly I really do I hate it I don't know how to explain it I'm so cozy. I'm so chill. Like, I'm on the phone with Arnell yesterday. Bro, she got bedazzled, sparkly, bow red heels. I'm like, friend, that's crazy. And it pink. Like, pearl. And I'm like, friend, that is insane. I, I just, you know, uh, I struggle with that too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just dressing the way I wanna dress. And like, you know, my friends are like, Jayla, you cannot wear sneakers your whole life. I'm like, why not? Why can't? They're like, maybe you are a boy. I'm like, I'm telling y'all, I just have like tendencies, you know? But yeah, y'all, all right. We are 30 minutes out from this appointment and I feel like I've already talked y'all head off for like a good, you know what I'm saying? A good little minute, so. Um, I'll just hit y'all later when I get there. There is time. And I feel like before the day is over, I'm gonna go head to Best Buy and buy another one. Um, but I made it with like five minutes to spare. Hopefully this don't take a long time. She asked me if I, you know, she asked me if I wanna use the bathroom before, before I, I just saw Dr. Cato, y'all, and he told me that everything looks great. And um, he's really just an angel. Like, seriously, he's such an angel. You know, you just meet somebody with like good energy, and you know, they're just like a good person. Like, he's a beautiful spirit. Like, I'm so happy I met him. But yeah, the chin is is, is chinning, and I love it. And you know? yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna schedule another appointment to just to talk. So that's what we're gonna do. So next thing I gotta do is meet up with this guy. What is his name? I wish I knew his damn name. Cause I don't know the man's name. So I got a new battery from Best Buy. Now I have to go meet, I don't know what this guy's name is y'all. So there was a miscommunication between me and my one o'clock. So we're gonna reschedule for another day. But right now, and so I text um, Asia, Asia laced by Bay and told her that I was gonna be ready like a little bit early so we could do it like whenever she wants to do it like earlier than three um so yeah had I don't know that I would have just scheduled my appointment for one but it's all cool I'm trying to figure out if I'm feeling like a coffee shop and snack type of vibes or do I want to go get some food and really eat I really feel like I just need to just go to yard house or something and just get food there and like sit down like can i have my bar can i i don't want to sit at the bar i just need a table so and just pull out my laptop and work for two hours until it's time for my appointment or until she says she's ready i have decided on california pizza kitchen because i love me a cute bowl barbecue chicken pizza with like a little salad on the side. Okay, girl. And maybe a little drink or something. 
I don't know. We'll see. Check out the drink that I got and paid for it and didn't drink because it's red. <laughs> it's red. Lunch was just absolutely mid. Like, wow. Lunch was absolutely mid. Like, wow. Like, the California Pizza Kitchens at the airport are not like that. Like, that shit was just dirty. And, like, I got the egg. And then my food started tasting like dog. Y'all know how I feel about that. So, I'm just like, yeah, this is a dub. I got a drink. It came out with red on top. I thought I got a margarita. And that's just all clear with a little green tint to it. But, no. They fancy. They got to put red stuff on a margarita. I don't want that. So, lunch was absolutely mid and like out of all the places that i could have went around here like i was trying to be quick kind of disappointed because it was a waste of money waste of time and like i don't know i just really hate when you can tell that a restaurant is not like well kept you know what i mean like i hate that for the restaurant because you can really tell like that people are just y'all don't clean properly you know and now i'm judging like how y'all prepare the food like that was terrible I'm never doing that again uh -uh. But I'm just going to pull up to my hair appointment early and just edit in my car because I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all I was getting that real deal live, like, ick at that. What's the name? Yeah, I was. Oh, but it's an Ulta right here, too. No. But I get 10% back on my credit card when I... Let me not. Thank God I didn't get no outfit because now I'm getting stood up. <laughs> like and niggas be like they got roommates whole time it's the wife you know what i'm saying and so i just appreciate everything because don't come to me thinking that you're ever gonna qualify me as like a side or anything like it just never really gave that so i'd rather you know what i'm saying just you know what i'm saying figure out what you got you know in the end just let that be that um so yeah i'm about to go to a bar louis somebody has to see this face like y'all i look beautiful like i have to go i just got my Get hair done like i'm trying to go to the moon okay i'm really i'm trying to get i'm trying to you know what i'm saying how else am i supposed to act after i just got my freaking hair done like come on i'm gonna leave y'all in here because i'm not gonna lie y'all draw way too much attention like i'm already drop dead gorgeous you know what i'm saying then i got great personality beautiful smile you bring the camera this right here invites people to ask come ask me dumb questions is that live what is that what's what's that so no we're leaving this in the car and um yeah i'll see y'all when i get back from dinner i had a great time in the bar y'all i'm gonna tell y'all all about it while i'm taking off my makeup let me get my ass in the house and go relieve my nanny because she gotta go get her man because she got a man i love that let me just tell y'all i love you that got men keep them keep them men love them don't even play these reindeer games out here with these niggas because niggas be on purity bullshit, okay? And it's me speaking from experience, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about the situations. Good morning, friends. I just came on here to say getting stood up is actually crazy. That was my first time ever getting stood up and like, wow, that was exhilarating. Wow, you know, you just look at your phone and then there's nothing and it's just radio silence and you're just like, wow, this is actually happening to me right now. Like, it's a really surreal type of vibe. Like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> but I think people know who time to waste and who time not to waste, so I uh, appreciate that, you know? Um, but last night was fun when I went to the bar the bar was so much fun. I met up with some guys. Well, they were there and we was just vibing. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? They come to me like, oh my God, you so beautiful. You so pretty. And I'm like, thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'm the homie. You feel me? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> None of that. And then he was like, what you doing on Friday? Come to Miami. I was like, mm. Jayla with no kids would have definitely went. But Jayla with a kid, I'm just not like mm, i was like let me tell you something i'm not doing none of that stuff that the girls be doing when they be getting flued out okay i'm not doing none of that stuff so 
No. Let me know so we I get your ticket before tomorrow. Let me know by tomorrow so I can get your ticket. Like I'm not doing I'm not doing none of that stuff, sir. I'm sorry. No. I mean it looked like a great time. Like I'm not even gonna lie, but like since my frontal lobe is like, you know what I'm saying, fully developed now. Um, it seems a bit it's like it's like everything I look at, it's got like risky risky scale. It's like beep 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 beep. You know what I'm saying? Something like beep beep beep. And then Miami, beep, 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 beep. it's just like not safe. You know what I'm saying? It turned red. You feel me? So I'm not going. Although that would have been a great time. Great vlog footage. Like Jayla with no kids. I'm so I'm was so younger Jayla. It's not even Jayla with no kids. It's younger Jayla was so spontaneous. And this Jayla just stays in the house because outside is freaking dangerous. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. And it's not like I'm gonna stay inside forever, like, oh, you gotta live, you gotta da 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 da. It's like, it's just safe in my house, you know? I feel safe there, I feel warm, I feel cozy. It's not dirty, you know what I'm saying? It's just nice and just like a warm hug. Um, but yeah, y'all, I am um, about to get me some breakfast. And I'm gonna go home. Jackson got a, I got a parent teacher conference today for Jackson. Um, so that should be interesting. And yeah. Not the parent teacher conference is on. Uh, Thursday <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the hair store because I get some lashes girl my lash check was like you need to take a break I'm like ma'am I don't want to take a break but I guess I will if I have to um and I'm gonna go home and film a little uh, beauty you know what I'm saying a little beauty video because I ain't had a little beauty video like a little minute like a little makeup tutorial my face been sick Ting, do you hear me? So I'm excited about that. Share a little bit of my beauty secrets. Um, but I do have to go get a pair of lashes because, like, girl, it's giving straight Dr. Seuss. Um, so yeah. All right, friends, this is the game plan. Just finished, oh, just finished filming a makeup tutorial. Um, I'm on live real, real quick, chopping it up with the girls, and um, we gotta go return this camera battery. And I know this man tired of seeing my face. Actually, I know he's not tired of seeing my face, but I know I'm kind of worse him. I don't really give a damn about being worse than I just don't like this camera lens because it's like, it's jumpy. But that's what I get for just buying a camera lens, like, without no research. I can't even tell you the name of the damn camera lens. So, let me go ahead and prepare this for, um, dismissal. Go ahead and get this shit up out of her. He gave me a camera bag, but I don't necessarily know where it went at. Uh oh! Oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! Hip hip hooray! The the you was the one to ask for the side by side. I still haven't feel, I still haven't uploaded that. I still haven't uploaded like my um like so a couple weeks ago. I da 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 da. -da, -da you know what I'm saying? Went and got my da 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 da, and this is how it healed. Are you gonna go see Rod Wave on this tour? I like Rod Wave in a car. Like, I don't think I like. I don't think I would enjoy that um we about to go y'all say hey y'all say hey to the floor we about to go get on this man's nerve real quick because i gotta go return this back this lens um uh yeah i made it to the camera store um i'm gonna just pick y'all up when i get back i'm not gonna take y'all into the store so this should be quick oh y'all it's been a long long day Whew. The makeup ain't down all day. Ooh, where's the stuff at? I'm just gonna take me a quick shower just so I can sleep really good tonight. I tried to edit that video, but I got tired. I got really tired, so I just was like, I'll just finish that tomorrow sometime in between, maybe after my um, weapons training course. Maybe I'll finish it after then, but I was like, I just need to go to bed. And Jackson don't have school tomorrow. And so he's gonna be with his nanny. Ooh. Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm kind of like exhausted from standing on business all day. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm really exhausted by that. And when I see standing on business, y'all, I just stand on business. Like, you know how, like, you be missing people company, but you just know, like, you gotta release them for, like, your own good and, like, their own good, too. Like, y'all just reach a plateau, and, you know? And it's like, you know that this person is going to refuse to grow with you. So y'all just have to grow apart. So, my 
feet hurt after standing no business. It does. They it, it do. My back hurt a little bit, and and I really do miss like it's for me. Like after these like long days, oh my god, I just want to be baby. I just want to be baby. I just want somebody to tell me how proud of me I am. I mean, I guess I can do that too, but I can't rub my own back and my own booty and my own feet. I can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, girl. I've been standing on business all oh, day. And it's still painful. I didn't even look at my baby photo today. See what he had going on in school. But I did put the trash can down, okay? <laughs> it's just glue. This is a mess. The lashes is a mess. I just want these things to come out. The footage that I, the video that I filmed today came out so freaking good. And I was so proud of it. And all I did was go buy the new lens. And then I changed some settings on my camera. And it literally made like all the difference. I was thinking about how I had my um like a, like the like my makeup upstairs in my room, and I was thinking like I need to go ahead and just put that downstairs in the office. And uh, you know I may need like a little small vanity or something for my room, but like uh, ring lights and microphones and stuff up here, just kind of like. I don't know. I don't know. It's just interrupting. Like I got work and I got relaxation in the same place. And it's just not, it's not the vibes, not vibing. So I got to move all of that downstairs to the office. And then I think I want another pack system for downstairs also for the office. So I can store everything, my batteries, my cameras, my, you know what I'm saying? Everything in one spot. But I got a lot of plans with that room downstairs, so... I'm gonna get started on that soon. I'm just, I could not go to this, this gunk in my eyelashes. It's just uh, 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 a mess. I see I'm right early tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Good morning, y'all. Now finally is the day of Jackson's parent teacher conference. He doesn't like school today and he doesn't have school tomorrow. So um, he's at his nanny's. And I have a full day today, pretty much. But I'm getting ready so I can go to this parent-teacher conference. Um, it's my first one ever. I need to leave in 10 minutes. I really wasn't supposed to be doing like a whole like full face of makeup. It just kind of happened. Um, but that's okay. We're here now, so might as well keep going. But this is not a full face. This is like my like simple makeup, I guess you can say. Yo, I am just so grateful for my nanny, I'm grateful for my support system, I'm grateful for my mom. I am just grateful for my friends and just grateful for my life. I woke up like really super like in a state of gratitude because I think a lot of people take being blessed lightly and um, being so blessed, you know, abundantly abundantly blessed you know not having to worry about you know survival things and just kind of being able to live i think a lot of people take it like take um that for granted just being able to just live and not have to worry about surviving you know what i mean where's that brush like oh i'm about to say i don't have time <laughs> my eyelashes just look you know what i mean they're just Ah, oh, babes. Maybe let's put some mascara on them. Cause they're just really. The parent teacher conference went really well. Um, it went really well. I got a lot of work to do, so I gotta like, <sighs> bro. Being a mom and like having to handle my business and Jack's business, and like Jack's is like a special kid, and I'm special too, and we just a special family. It's so much work, y'all. Like for real having to stay on top of it and I know it's like like y'all think like if y'all knew like if I just was not gonna just willingly tell my baby business up here and like tell all my business too y'all be like dang like sometimes I don't even know how I do it I just go you know anyways I'm on my way to Panera to meet up with the his name in my phone is Armed Education, Educated, Armed Educated. I don't know his real name, y'all, I gotta get that. But um, he is meeting me and we are going to go over the like self-defense weapons course. I feel like this is so important because I've never felt more vulnerable in my life, 
as a single mother, okay? Never in my life. Um, people with just kids by themselves in general are just vulnerable, but like, that's for a long time I kind of held up on like, you know, traveling with Jax and things like that because a lot of people don't think like, you know, I see people talking crap on Facebook like, oh, y'all babies don't go out to state. Well, I barely wanted to take them to Walmart, babes. I barely wanted to take them to the store, okay? You just are so vulnerable and I need to be able to leave a nigga brains on the street if I got to, you know? So he's like, this is what he does. And when y'all hear him talk, and just hear him talk about like his credentials and like how you could tell he's very passionate about investing in your safety and it's like the older i get the more i realize that like small investments make a big difference like that's kind of been like the theme of this whole week actually small investments make a big difference the camera the chin the the i mean the camera lens the chin you know I switched my quality up to 4k and I love my footage like you know this small investment of taking this course taking this class and having him as an instructor is like priceless you know and he's the only person that I know um, that is like really knowledgeable about this stuff so if you're local I definitely like think that like this is something that we could do do not for show not for men not to put it on Instagram but to really know what we doing in case we got to stand on business for these babies you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel that way about all women, but I feel like women with children are especially vulnerable. So like, and you wouldn't, you don't know that unless you have a child, but also women that make money, bottle girls, strippers, you know what I'm saying? Those girls that, you know, we just kind of walk around like, you know, do to do to do. And it's really people out here that, you know, are, they prey on us, you know? So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we can stand on business so we can protect ourselves. I got one thing about it, baby. I got to come home to my baby. Like that's just that. That's I mean, it's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I got to. Okay, y'all. I made it to the Panera. Hi, y'all. We got a new friend. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love. How are, How are you? you? I'm good. I'm good in yourself. Good. Look, it's the clipboards for me. Everything. Yes, we got. Right. We, 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 we gonna get you. Yes, right. you wear that belt everywhere. Uh, or is that a fashion belt, or is that a um, concealed carry belt? A concealed carry belt. I was wondering. So um, <laughs> now they got belts, and again, as we get the training, uh huh, I'm gonna introduce you to all the accessories you can like, like far as your everyday carry. Okay. What's good for you to carry? Right. You know how to carry. You're just gonna be. And it's gonna just put your mind in in in, a, in a no, on another level with just life. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree. Yeah, it's just really gonna give you another you, yeah. perception. It's gonna make yeah. you see things it's differently. It's gonna make you like, okay, it's like me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm yeah, just I, absolutely. You, you know, gotta I'm, stay ready. But so I'm you know, humble, right? You know what I'm saying? It's uh -huh. just, it's just, you know, if it comes, then it's, it's gonna get dealt with. Okay, exactly. You know I, mean? I like that. And that's the goal. Right. That's the that's training. It. That's it. Stay ready, so you ain't gotta get ready. Stay ready, so you ain't gotta get ready. I like that. Stay ready, stay dangerous. All right, we at Panera. We're gonna have us a little business meeting, y'all. <laughs> y'all look at the pen uh, it's too official this is actually um, you can break glass with this this is what the police use to break glass with this so it's tactical y'all this man is the real deal oh wow I ain't never held no pen like this before that's crazy okay so I'm just filling out my student registration yeah, student registration oh, this, this should be your email okay um, conceal carry home defense I always try to make it put two subjects in one class because mm -hmm. I want people to get more you know what I mean mm -hmm. for what they pay for I don't want to just mm -hmm. do a concealed carry mm -hmm. no I want you to understand concealed carry and home defense so that way you know how to act on the law and what type of things to do if you're in, ever in a self self situation mm -hmm. wow friends this has been a great meeting um I, I didn't even turn okay thank you I didn't even turn the camera back on but also, I want you to see all this. I really want to go over something to say, but we'll mm -hmm. go over this another time. Mm -hmm. It's just pretty much like what, I, what the course would consist of as far as you can still carry, but women's handgun self defense is more intact. Mm -hmm. That's like, this course is just, this course right here, women's handgun, that's just for women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you got to be qualified to teach that. Mm -hmm. I have the credential to teach that mm -hmm. through the USCC, mm -hmm. the United States Concealed Carry Association. Mm -hmm. So, friends, this man just told me he was a professional mixed martial artist also. With the who? DPOR, Department of Professional Regulation. My certifications, I'm an instructor, range safety officer, and my women's handgun self-defense curriculum. Y'all, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna still keep this one. This one? Because, yeah. But 
John Hancock on him quickly. I had to get a different name. On the way though, coming soon, okay? Okay, do you, which, what do you like? What you like? Me personally, I like strawberry cheesecake. I just like food and Mmm, mm-hmm. I'm more of like a chocolate girly. Mmm. You said like chocolate? I like chocolate. I would have a ton of strings. It comes with like a brownie, chocolate and then a cocoa puffs. Cocoa puffs? Cocoa fudge. Oh, cocoa fudge. Yes, That's different than the regular fudge? Yes, ma'am. Ooh. Oh, it got both. Okay, yeah, put both in there. Let's do that. Let's do caramel and hot fudge. You still want the uh, brownie Oreo? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, hot fudge. Anything else, please? No, that's it. All right. We'll be Thank you. 932? Friend, did you say 932? Yeah, one, one, so it's gonna be a, you, did you want the Heath Caramedic affection instead of the brownie Oreo? Uh-uh. Okay, because the Heath Caramedic gets hot fudge, caramel, and- I don't want the Heath. We can swap it out for the Oreo and just do caramel and fudge, that work? But it got brownie in it? Yes. Okay. All right, one second. Do the whipped cream too. Y'all, I just left my mama house and we had a time, I tell you what, my uncle was there. And um, we just had a great time. Um, um, I didn't get any of my freaking work done. Okay, Thank you so much. Okay, Ooh, night. you too, y'all. This look. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, boy, I tell you what. Mmm. Mmm. I just eat a whole thing of this. Mmm. All right, friends, y'all already know what the hell going on here. We finally made it home. This hair is getting a bit out of hand, okay? Just a tad, all right? Who I had a long day, y'all. And tomorrow is probably gonna be just as long. I gotta go get this this external hard drive so I can keep working, because now every... Huh? I'm telling you! Uh... Bro, I know what I'm doing with my face. I can't believe bitches try to come at me about like how would I oh you don't need that, 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 that. Come on now. No, baby, that's the that's the chin. That's crazy. Ain't it crazy how big of a difference it made? I know it's crazy. Yeah, this don't make no sense. So let's let's go buy us an external hard drive. All right, I'm at Best Buy. Let's go in here and see what they have. Uh, I can't finish creating content until I have this hard drive. So, and I have an external hard drive. I just got it like a long time ago, and it like made my computer all glitchy. So I just need a new one. I should have known though, like with more upgrades, you know. Like, I was gonna need this, so, yeah. I guess it just is what it is. I'm not trying to rush, even though I, it's been a minute since I posted on YouTube, but it's okay, like, I'd rather it be bright than like, you know what I'm saying, yeah, so. I don't know if I hate this Best Buy or if this Best Buy hate me, because it's not had it on the website, but of course I get here, and it's here. It's just a little, you know how they do. It's just a little boneless, okay? Well, I guess this is what I need right here. That one. Friends, why did memory cards get so cheap? Like, hold on. $512, $60. This one over here, $512, $36. Wait a minute. When the... I gotta ask somebody about this. Thank you so much. Lately I've been so like 
bro, if this is what you do, then just do it. You know what I'm saying? And I actually been standing on business, you feel me? As I'm walking out the Best Buy, I'm standing on business, okay? Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. I gotta wash these dishes because I gotta wash this Jackson's hair. Oh, um, you got too long. Huh? What you make too long? Jackson. Hey, what this? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do it again. Okay, you want to show the camera? Go ahead. Oh, wow, Jax. I'm officially a mom. That's like an official initiation until the you got a kid, you know what I'm saying? This green shirt, a black barber jacket that I got from H&M. I got these sweatpants from Forever 21. And I got on my Wave Runners. And then Jackson is over here trying to button up his jacket. He's actually buttoning up. You like it buttoned up? You yeah. are your daddy's son. That's for sure. You got it. Yeah, okay. Look in the mirror. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're ready to go to AJ's 13th birthday party. Say happy birthday, AJ. Happy birthday, AJ. Okay. <laughs> um, we got to get going. But, yeah, this is just my outfit of the night. Little cute, little chill auntie vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go ahead and hit my boy Cash out real quick before we pull up. Hopefully, Jax gets some of this energy out. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Close these blinds. Hold oh, my hand. <laughs> you ready to go jump? Yeah. You ready to go jump? Yeah. <laughs> hey, go follow my Instagram too at Lujan. Dot underscore. What did I lose? Every moment, time slipping, every second breathing, lungs filled with smoke for no reason. Life unexpected, time to show it. Question the fakes, 
and they motives I'm tired of looking at past today Cause any moment we can pass away I have to say Time comes and go Yesterday go Can't take that go. I know that time comes and go Yesterday go Can't take that go. Can't take that go. I know that Do you know your last day? Do you know your Do you know your Oh friends Oh my goodness, I'm tired, y'all. Oh my God, we just got in the house. It's literally like, it's 11.33. It's way past that bedtime. Um, I had a really good time at my nephew's birthday party. Me and Jax both did. Jax absolutely loves playing with my niece. And um, it was nice that my mom actually showed up because her ass don't be showing up nowhere. So um, it was really nice though. I had a hard time earlier when we left because like when we were leaving Jackson likes to like button his jacket all the way up and uh, I used to know somebody that did that and it's like even though he's not active it's like seeing him like act like him sometimes bothers me like a lot like a lot a lot and um, I can't get away from it. You know what I mean? Like, I can't escape it. I just have to be like, okay with it. I can't, es I can't escape it. And it wouldn't, I feel like it wouldn't be so hard. Jackson is shower. That's why I can talk to y'all about this right now. But it probably wouldn't be so hard. Like, if like, you know what I'm saying? You weren't super dad before. If, you know what I'm saying? If there wasn't a super dad before, like, if you weren't interested from the jump, you know what I'm saying? You just shouldn't have been interested. But I don't understand what the pretending was for two, three years. I don't understand what that was. And it's like, this little boy is so much like you. And like, you're just, yeah. And honestly, it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing because I just feel like I know I'm not that bad, you know, not to make it about me, but I think other people make it about me and the only person that's suffering is Jax, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just sucks. Uh, all these traits and characteristics and things that he's not even going to know, like where they come from, you know, and it's like. Will he know him, <laughs> you know? Will he come around, you know, things like that. Like, to go from super dad to just completely absent is kind of crazy. And so, like, you can't just put anything past anybody, you know what I mean? Mm. Breaks my heart. But regardless, whatever it is, I just hope it's consistent, you know? Because I don't want him questioning his self-worth behind it. But yeah, those are baby mama woes. <laughs> Life goes on, <laughs> okay? You got to take that shit on the chin. And it's longer and bigger now. So like, I feel like I have more surface area to cover. I can't even laugh right now because like there's absolutely nothing funny like <laughs> it's like why are niggas so lame Ugh. that is crazy that's so crazy you know I don't know maybe I'll make a video I always be doing that like I get my feelings and I'll be like maybe I'll make a video <laughs> That's the first thing I want to do is when I get in my feelings, I'm finna make a video. But yeah, anyway, what I got to do tomorrow? Clean up, edit this vlog, move all of that stuff. Oh, y'all, Jax was not, Jax was not messing with Hibachi. I mean, he won't fooling with it at all. Like, he was just like, girl, is it so in itching? Is this itching me? I feel like I've been scratching my head a lot. I think I just like feeling the net, to be honest with you. 
But um, Jackson was not feeling that. Oh my God, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. I asked my nephew, the, th the one that just turned 13, his birthday. I asked him how old he think I am. And he said, I don't know, like 32. <laughs> what? I'm like, AJ, I'm 28. Oh, almost cried when you said that. Like, bruh, oh my God. My nephew think I'm 32 years old. I'm 28, AJ. <laughs> anyway, it's been a long, lonely day of standing on business, okay? I don't know how long we're supposed to be standing up for. My feet hurt. My legs hurt. I'm ready to sit sit down beside the business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm getting a little, you know. All, my phone did not ring until like, I want to say like 5 o'clock. It was so dry. I was like, dang. These boundaries is boundaries and they are <laughs> and it's like i love that my phone don't ring but at the same time i'm just used to it not i'm not not really used to it not ringing at all like god damn <laughs> i still on business a little bit too hard i'm stomped on that shit anyways i just wanted to recap with y'all about my night um I had a good night. I need to do my nails sometime soon. I got a lot of stuff to do on Monday. So I think I'm going to take all day tomorrow and do this vlog. I probably won't even clean up, to be honest with you. Probably send Jax to his mini house and um, just edit his vlog all day. So I can make sure I can have it up on Monday for y'all. So, And I bought some teeth whitening stuff on Amazon today. Even though I have a dentist appointment, I bought some teeth whitening stuff. Because I don't know why I've just been in like this like seasonal like upgrades but i'm loving it so yeah that was my night i'm gonna go give Jax his soap because he's not allowed to have soap in the shower if you know you know um and i'm gonna take my shower and i'm going to bed peace out mm.